Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a super, okay, a pretty simple um, everyday makeup look. So this is what I wear to school. I haven't, I don't have any makeup on yet, but um, the makeup I'm about to show you is what I've been wearing to school. Yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been doing my makeup. I have like a everyday makeup routine, but every week I'm trying to like switch a couple products out so I can get like through my makeup and like not neglect all of my makeup besides my everyday makeup, if that makes sense. Also, before we get started, uh, I just want to mention I actually did my hair today. <laughs> it's not my favorite thing ever, but maybe with like my makeup on, it'll be, it'll look better. We'll just have to see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I do is prime my face. So I've been using the Benefit Professional Primer, um, just where I have more pores and so I take about that much. Oh crap, I just got on over. And I just focus it more like right here. Is the lighting really weird? I feel like the lighting is pretty weird right now. It's super bright outside, so I had to like open or shut like, okay, it's too bright, okay. It's like, midday it's like 4 30 so i had to just like put the white curtain over i don't know if that made any sense but then um since i really only primed like right here and like my t-zone area i um, like to put more primer on the rest of my face so i am using the smashbox photo finish primerizer um, i just have like the little tiny 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 size i don't have the full size because it's like 40 dollars or something like that no so far i'm liking it which is a little dangerous because i don't really want to spend a lot of money on it but I've had this in my collection and I just need to use it so that's why I put it in my everyday drawer okay next step is concealer so I've been using the elf concealer lately and um, it's not like my favorite favorite concealer but it's also not a bad concealer I have the shade fair and it's pretty dark to be fair but it is my darkest concealer right now and I'm the most tan right now that I've been all year so um, I'm using this and I've been putting it on the back of my hand there's a gnat in front of my eye so I just put it on the back of my hand and I just put like a little bit because I do not want to look cakey at school just not what I like and I just take my finger and I just start Patting under my eyes, just focusing it really where I need it because I don't like to wear foundation to school. Honestly, I really don't even like foundation. I just hate how it makes me look cakey and I just don't want that. I want it to look natural, but like I'm still wearing makeup, you know? Also, this lighting is really weird and I don't know why. I just recently started using my finger, but before when I used a sponge, I would use this sponge. This is actually by Ofra. It was sent to me through Octoly like not long ago, just like a week ago. And I love the sponge. It's actually my favorite, favorite sponge. I do have the Real Technique sponge too, but this one is honestly my favorite. So if you're looking for a good sponge, I recommend this one. I've just been using my fingers recently and I like how it looks as well. But if you use foundation or more concealer than I use, Definitely recommend this Ofra sponge. Um, I'll link it in the description. It's literally so soft. It's softer than the Real Techniques one and the Real Beauty Blender. It's just, it's so amazing. I'll also put concealer like a little bit on my cheeks because my cheeks are like a tiny bit red-ish. And then a little like on my nose and around my nose. And then any problem areas, but, but I just, I don't like to put a lot because I don't just want to have like random spots of concealer on my forehead, you know? And then I like to put some in between my eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know, it just like makes the look, look more complete because my in between my eyebrows are like lighter. I don't know, it's kind of weird and hard to explain, but put some on my chin. And then I'll just have like a little bit left and I'll just put that on my eyelids because my eyelids are a little more, more red and like more veiny. And that's it. I literally just dipped, it, dipped my concealer in once and wiped it on my hand and that was all the concealer we used. 
So then next, I set my concealer, of course. Um, some people don't set their concealer if they just use a little bit of concealer, but I cannot go without setting my concealer. Plus, it makes it last better and like makes my face less oily throughout the day. But the setting powder that I've been using is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I love my Laura Mercier, but this has been really good because it's the pretty, it's like the coolest powder ever. So like when you open it up, it has this little thing. And then you open that part up and it's one of those, those like trampoline looking things. I use a different sponge for my powder and then my concealer because I don't like to get my powder in my concealer sponge. Then if I try to use that sponge for concealer, it's all cakey. If you, you know what I mean? I use this Real Technique sponge and I'll just take a little bit of powder. I don't like to overdo it. And then... I'll just set my under eyes. But this powder feels so cool. It literally feels like you're putting water on your face, but then it's actually powder. Like that powder is 50% water and then 50% powder. Super good, especially like for dry skin. Like my nose has been dry lately. So it's good at not making my nose look really cakey. After that, I use bronzer. So I have been using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is the matte one. And I always use a matte bronzer because I just don't like how shimmery bronzers look on me. It just, like when you're in the sunlight, it just looks like glitter is on your face and I don't want that. So I just use a little bit and I just bronze up my face, but I don't overdo it. I just keep it natural. So I just take this brush. This is the ColourPop F14 brush. It's my favorite brush for bronzer because it literally is so easy to blend out. That looks really bad on camera. And then I'll um, use blush. A lot of people don't use blush, but I love blush. It's actually one of my favorite things. Um, and I use the Tarte Blush Bazaar Palette, and I take the shade Angelic in the palette. Why is this so hard to see on camera? This lighting is so weird. Okay, that shade right there. I love these types of blushes. They're like the mauve blushes, but kind of peachy a little bit and I just take that on the AOA Studio F13 brush and it's actually from Shop Miss A so this brush is literally only a dollar and it's really good. I'll just take that and I'll put it mainly like right here on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it up and then also put it like right here. Tarte blushes are my favorite blushes, if you didn't know. They're literally so good, and they last forever. Um, Party is actually probably my favorite shade, but uh, I hit pan on that, so I was like, you know, it's time to give that one a break. So if you're looking for a really good blush that lasts all day, definitely go for the Tarte ones. Um, Highlighter, I would usually use the Emreezy highlighter, but it, I actually just switched it out this week, so I'm going to use the Becca highlighter in rose gold. This is the really tiny size, but as you can tell, I like really haven't used it, so that's why I decided to put it in my everyday makeup drawer this week, because I just need to get more use out of it. Plus, while I'm at least a little bit tan, yeah, I just literally dip it in once, and that's all I need because I don't want it to look like a big line on my face. So the only place I'll put this is on my cheekbones and then I will only put the Becca one on my cheekbones um, and then I'll take this Ofra one. It looks like that and it's in the shade Pillow Talk. I'll put that just on the tip of my nose and then the bridge of my nose and my inner corners and that's it but I just like to keep it really focused so. I just put a dot on my nose and then I blend it out. By the way, this is the Princeton Select Round Blender 6. It's literally from Hobby Lobby. And then I'll use eyebrow gel. The whole last week I used the ColourPop one, but that one's not like clear when you open it, it's like white. So I decided to switch it out this week and I'm using the e.l.f. Lash and Brow Gel. It's so close to being gone, so I'll definitely have it gone by the end of this week. I don't really like do my brows. I just put brow gel in them because I just don't really, I don't know. 
brows just aren't my favorite thing to do and I just like my brows aren't terrible as is they're not the greatest but I just honestly don't really like to do them and I haven't really found a product that really matches my brows super well then since my eyes are like literally have no definition at all I just take this bronzer this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer and it's just the mini size that I got for free and I just put that in my crease with the Morphe M433 brush and I just I don't do eyeshadow for school I think it takes too long and I just don't like how it like looks on me and it's just not natural you know and then for mascara I use the Too Faced BTS mascara and I use this I think trim eyelash curler um it's my favorite eyelash curler and then this is my favorite mascara because it works super well a lot of people don't like this mascara but I love it because you can just do your eyelashes so quickly and also I don't know I just love the way it makes my eyelashes look but a lot of people I think make the mistake of putting too much in your eyelashes and then it makes it look clumpy but if you just use a little bit it looks really good so oh I have an eyelash in my eye so I literally just use such a tiny bit I just comb through them and that's pretty much it. We're almost done. The last step is lips. So I just use Carmex because I don't like using liquid lipstick or lipstick for school i think it's honestly just too extra for me and i don't really like how it looks on me so i just use carmax i think it works really good and honestly i love it so this is the everyday makeup look thing uh i just realized this video is like 20 minutes long and i'm definitely gonna have to edit a lot of it and i said i would be fast for my mom and i'm about to go to the store so anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i know this was like a more chill laid back of a video but i did want to make this video because i love watching these types of videos and um i like getting inspiration of like what other people are doing for their makeup for school so yeah so yeah make sure to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye hey guys so i know this is like super random and it doesn't go with the video really but I have to make this so we're just gonna include it uh, so I'm really sorry I don't like doing this but I need to so I am going to tell you about this it isn't sponsored it's um it was sent to me through Octolise so I need to mention it in a video I have like a certain amount of days to like get the review up and it's past that so they gave me a few extra days and this is the last day to do it so I hope you guys understand I'm really sorry I'm, I'm so sorry. So, um, this is the Sol de Janeiro. I don't know how you pronounce the brand name, but it's the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Cool, right? I know the name is really weird, but it's, it's, it's good. I literally got it for the smell. It smells so good, but this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys have seen it before. It smells so good, but it comes with this little thing and then... You open this little thing up and then you have all of the product and I think what it's supposed to do is like tighten. I don't, I don't really know. Firm your skin. But I, I put it like on my arms and my legs and just as a lotion and I really like it. Um, especially, you know, because it smells really good. The texture is like really smooth. The smell is amazing and I don't know. I just, I, I love it so much. Yeah, so it helps tighten and smooth like no other. And I don't, I like it because it's not like heavy, you know? I know, this is really random and you probably hate me for just like adding this into the video randomly, but um, <laughs> the quality is super good. I love the packaging. Like it, look, just look, look how cute it is. And then you just like, then you just unscrew it. And there you have it. I don't know, I love it. And then it works really well. Just everything about it is really good. They did want me to tell you guys that in Portuguese, it means boom, boom. Cool. <laughs> if you guys do want to get this, the link will be in the description. Again, I am so sorry just for including this randomly in the video. But I 
just really needed to. So please understand. I love you guys and um, I hope you enjoyed this um, video and this little clip and um, yeah, anyways, yeah, <laughs> I love you guys and bye.